So I've always been the type of person who was always obsessed with something. I always had some kind of obsession in my life that I was always focused on. Sometimes it would be something normal. Like there were periods of my life where I was like really obsessed with like study and getting good grades. You know, I would wake up in the morning thinking, okay, let's get some study in. You know, literally I'd be in bed about to sleep and I'd read like the physics textbook. That was like my nighttime reading. I was obsessed with studying. Other periods of my life, I've been really obsessed with like exercise. You know, I'd binge watch fitness videos on YouTube. You know, I'd think about it before bed. But sometimes my obsessions have been, you know, I've also had like other really weird obsessions. Like there was this period of like three months where I got into juggling and like I would wake up in the morning thinking like, okay, let's practice this new juggling trick that I've been learning. Let's like learn five ball juggling or whatever. But sometimes my obsessions could be considered like distractions. For example, in high school for like a couple years, I was obsessed with video games. You know, I'd be in class daydreaming about Minecraft. I'd go to bed daydreaming about Minecraft. I'd run home, you know, after school just to play video games and stuff. So I've always been the kind of person who was obsessed with things. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about that kind of obsessive thing, because in my opinion, the happiest you can be is when you have this kind of mission, this kind of purpose in your life where you're working towards something bigger than yourself, right? Now, like I said, it can be a massive distraction. Like it can be video games, it could be like, you know, you're obsessed with like getting bitches or something, but but also your purpose can be something super like, um, you know, fulfilling. For example, like, okay, so there are two types of focuses, right? There's basically the focus that we're all familiar with, which is called micro focus. Basically, it's like when you're studying, when you're doing your homework and you're like sitting down and actually doing like a solid one, two hours of study and you're blocking out all your distractions. That's called micro focus. I'm gonna talk about that a bit later, but in this video, I'm also gonna talk about macro focus, which is basically when you're focused in the long term. So I want you to imagine for a second, uh, Usain Bolt, right? When he was training for the Olympics, he had one goal. He was gonna win the 200 meter sprint, win the 100 meter sprint, whatever. That was his goal. He was focused in his life. He was focused on achieving that goal. And when you have this kind of, it's called like a front of mind goal. When you have a front of mind goal, something that you're working towards in your life, it kind of acts as a filter. Like, you know, maybe his friends were saying, hey bro, you're saying you wanna, you wanna come to the pub on Friday night and get some drinks? But he had this mission, he had this focus in his life. So he could use it to block out the distractions and say like, oh bro, now nah, I can't, can't have some drinks tonight. You know, I gotta focus, I gotta win this race. Oh no, mom, I can't have some cake today. You know, I gotta focus, I gotta win this race. Oh no, I can't scroll on Instagram for two hours right now. I gotta win this race. So when you've got this like front of mind goal, a purpose, it acts as a filter. It keeps you focused in your life. And you know, the reason I really like this kind of focus, long-term macro focus is because, okay, so according to the book, The Way of the Superior Man, and at least in my experience, when a man is living aligned to his purpose, which is like, you know, your reason for existence, the mission you're on in your life, when you're aligned to that and when you're living to that and you're making all decisions based on that, that is when you are happiest. And I 100% agree to this. I've been happiest in my life when I've had some kind of like mission, some kind of purpose that I was waking up for. You know, I would wake up in the morning with a ton of energy, a fuck ton of energy, because I knew there was something I was pushing towards, you know. Maybe it was my own, you know, fitness goals. For example, now I'm really, you know, obsessed, really dialed in on scaling up this YouTube channel on, you know, making an impact on men's lives and trying to help them. So that's my current, you know, mission, you could say, my current focus, and it keeps me dialed in. And in my opinion, this is when you are happiest in your life. So I'll talk a bit about that in this video, because basically, here's the thing, here's the problem. 99% of men these days, or 99% of people, don't have a purpose. They don't have this kind of like focus in their life that they're dialed in on. And when you don't have that kind of focus in your life, you are just kind of like mindlessly being pulled everywhere in the universe. You know, you have a compulsion to check Instagram. So you scroll Instagram for like two hours and waste your time. You have like a, a compulsion to play video games. You play video games for two hours. You have like a, a pull to, you know, watch some porn, you do that. So this is when you don't have a purpose, when you don't have this mission that you're living your life towards, you kind of just mindlessly float in the universe. And it's kind of like, it's a really depressing existence in my opinion, but that's 99% of people these days. Now, not everyone is like that. Many people do have this front of mind goal, this mission that they're on, but here's the problem. It wasn't chosen by them. It was chosen by society. This is the second problem I'm gonna mention. Because if you don't pick your own purpose, if you don't pick your own goal, for example, let's say you're really into, you know, growing plants or something like that. And, you know, since you were a kid, you've loved plants and that, that's your purpose. That's what you really wanna do, right? You wanna grow plants. You wanna, you know, get into the space of, you know, being a gardener or whatever. But you grow up, you get older and your parents say like, hey, you know, 
It's time to start thinking about work. It's time to start thinking about, you know, your career. And you realize that growing plants, you know, raising plants is not going to get you money. It's not going to make you rich. So you abandon your heart's deepest desire, your, your true purpose in life to chase, to chase money, to, you know, become a doctor, to become an engineer, to become whatever your parents want you to do. And this, ha this happened to me. You know, I was in high school, for example, I was really into many things. I was into science, maths, languages, all that, all that stuff. But I knew that stuff wouldn't make me money. I knew I could not make a ton of money, you know, being a scientist, being a mathematician. So what did I do? I did the next best thing. I did engineering. But here's the problem. I'm not super passionate, super purposeful about engineering. So I just, I did like my entire degree and I realized that this is deep down in my heart, not really what I want to do with my life. So that's the problem. If you don't pick your own purpose, your own mission, your own front of mind goals, society will pick them for you. Society will assign them for you. So when I say 99% of men out there are not on their purpose, are not living to their mission, that includes the guys that have had their purpose chosen for them. They're doing a career they hate. They're doing, you know, they're chasing money. They're chasing status. They're chasing all these things. And that's the problem. So it can be very difficult to find your purpose, you know, because it might not be accepted by society. It might not be, you know, it might not make you money. Your parents might be against it. So that's the problem we have in the modern day. That's why, you know, that's why I have this vision for my boys on this channel. I have a vision that we all discover our purposes we all know what we want to do with our lives and we all align to our purpose. And when you are aligned with your purpose, when you're living according to your heart's deepest desire, then the day becomes easy. You don't have to force yourself to work. You don't have to be disciplined. You don't, I mean, you do, but you don't have to, you know, force yourself so hard. You don't have to, you know, fight a hundred decisions because you know exactly what you're doing. You're dialed in. You're like, okay, yes, I'm going to paint. Yes, I'm going to, you know, there are many different things out there that you could do, but when you're focused in, when you're dialed in, when you know exactly what your front of mind mission is and you align every single decision down to the meals you eat, the people you're in with your friends, then that will make you, you know, enjoy your life much more. Because here's the fundamental mistake that many men make. They think that once they've achieved what they want, then they can do what they want. For example, they're like, okay, once I make a fuck ton of money being a doctor, once I make a fuck ton of money, you know, doing this business that I hate, then I can be happy. Then I can do what I truly want. You know, once I make a ton of money as a doctor, then I can get into golf, which is what I truly, truly want. But why would you waste like a decades of your life chasing money, you know, chasing this thing that you hate, doing this thing that you hate, hating your life just so one day something can change. And this is the fundamental flaw that all men face. They think that one day, things are going to be different. One day they're going to be happy. One day they're going to have enough money to do what they truly want. But what are you going to do till then? Are you going to hate your life? Are you going to hate your existence just because you're chasing money, just because you're doing all that? Now, of course, you, you know, you need money. You need money to survive. You have to survive. But in the end, you're sacrificing your true deepest purpose, your true heart desire for something that you, you know, don't really want. And you're hating your life in the, in the journey. Okay. So how exactly do you find your purpose? How do you find what it is you truly want to do with your life? Look, it's very difficult to, to find this because society is throwing a hundred things at you. You know, your parents are like, bro, be a doctor. Your friends are like, bro, you should get into this business model. You know, Andrew Tate's like, bro, you should fucking do drop shipping or whatever. You know, oh, but being a celebrity looks cool. You know, there's a million different things that you can do in the modern day. So how do you know what you truly want to do with your life? I can't tell you exactly how, but there are many different ways to approach this. One way is to look back into your past and ask yourself deeply, what have you always enjoyed in your life? What is something you've always been pulled towards? You know, as a four-year-old, what were you naturally pulled towards? What did you enjoy doing? Another thing is like, what is something you do that is that feels like work to other people, but to you feels like play? You know, for example, maybe you record videos and you love it. You know, you get into a flow state, zero thoughts in your mind and you know, that's something that feels like work to other people, but to you feels like play. So that's another question you can ask yourself. And finally, another thing is you just need to think, you need to take time away to disconnect from technology and actually let your brain think about what it is you wanna do in your life. Because that's the thing, you've got the answer in here, you know exactly what it is you love doing, what it, exactly it is, could be your mission in your life. You just have to listen to your brain. Your brain's giving you all the answers. You have to listen to it. You got to disconnect. You got to stop looking into the outside world and saying like, oh, that looks cool. That business model looks cool. That looks fun. And you got to go inwards. 
So that's another way to find, you know, your purpose, your life's focus. And in terms of on the micro scale, right? So like I said earlier in the video, um, you know, when you're sitting down to do one hour, two hours of work and you're, you know, focused, that's micro focus. That's focus on day to day. And this is a different kind of focus because it's when you're sitting down and you're doing your tasks, there are a million things in the world that are trying to pull you in, you know? Your, you know, Instagram's trying to pull you in. Like I get this, like I've struggled with social media addiction for all my life. You know, I've always, you know, every time I sit down, I pull out my phone and I just start scrolling. I've always suffered with that, right? And many guys have, it's one of the most difficult compulsions, addictions to overcome. But actually the real way to overcome this is to have something bigger that you're doing in your life, some kind of purpose, some kind of thing that you're working towards in your life so that you don't actually want to sit down and scroll on Instagram because you want to sit down and work towards your purpose, work towards your mission. So that's the real way to filter out all your addictions, all these things. Like I, I saw this study, basically, what is the number one reason men get addicted to porn? And the answer was actually a lack of purpose. Men felt like life was meaningless. So they went to porn, they got addicted to porn. So, you know, many people think their addictions are because of some kind of like problem that they have to overcome. But actually, the addictions might just be because you don't have this kind of mission, this kind of purpose in your life that you're working towards. So you just follow your compulsions, follow your, you know, what's it called? Follow your cravings. So actually having a purpose is the true way to filter out all the distractions, not only day to day, but in the long run. So I don't know, this, this video might seem kind of, you know, abstract, philosophical or whatever. But, you know, I truly have this vision of all the men, all my boys, you know, who are following me to all be following their purpose, all working towards their purpose. Because the thing is, every human being on earth is gonna have a different purpose, a different thing that they're working towards. And if we can all come together, working on our purposes and combine all our energy, all our strength, we can achieve some great things. I don't know if this is making any sense, but this is just a vision I have for my guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you, you know, what you think of what I said today. See you later.